Hello and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video, I'm going to talk about urinary histology, but I thought I would kick it off by looking at a model of the kidney. So the whole organ here is the kidney. And um, the things that we will see under the histology, we'll see the outer capsule of the kidney called the renal capsule. We'll also see the regions. This outer region here is called renal cortex. Um, and notice that it's got these renal corpuscles in here. These little yellow balls on my model are called renal corpuscles. And then um, you should know what a, basically what a nephron is. Let me move to the next image, though. Here's the cortex again, because, it, again, here's renal corpuscle, renal corpuscle, renal corpuscle, and we find those in the cortex. Um, sometimes we find them in the renal columns, but um, so far on the human kidney sections that I have, by the way, I haven't seen renal corpuscles um, down in the columns. But at any rate, um, the other thing I wanted to point out here was what a nephron is. So here's the renal corpuscle, and then here's proximal convoluted tubule. Here's loop of Henle or nephron loop, and then there's distal convoluted tubule. And while I've got this image here, notice that the descending limb of the nephron loop has some really thin segments going down below, and then the thick segment happens coming back up. We'll see that under the histology, so I want to point it out. And then again, here's the distal convoluted tubule. And by the way, the model is trying to show this simply so it doesn't show you how really convoluted these proximal and distal convoluted tubules are. Okay, I think we're ready to move on. So this is human kidney at 40 times magnification. And we're looking at the surface of the kidney out here. So this would be renal capsule. This connective tissue that you see out here on the outside of the kidney, that's renal capsule. And under that capsule, we have the cortex of the kidney. And I know that this is cortex, not only because I see the, um, the outside of the kidney here in the renal um, capsule, but because I see all of these kind of darker roundish structures that have another rounded area outside of them. These are the um, renal corpuscles. So renal corpuscle, renal corpuscle, renal corpuscle. And in between the corpuscles, what we're seeing are um, renal tubules. And those renal tubules has, have all different kinds of shapes here because, again, the, um, the proximal and distal convoluted tubules are just going in and out and in and out of um, this one or two-dimensional slice that's been taken through the kidney. So sometimes the tubules might look here. It looks like a, almost like a shepherd's crook. Here it's like a short straight line. Here's a longer straight line. Um, and then you see areas where they look like circles and areas where they look like ovals, because again, they're making um, different turns in and out of the slice that we're looking at. But again, they're all renal tubules. Moving on to 100 times magnification, and now we can just more clearly see the renal tubules, renal tubules, renal tubules, and we can more closely see the renal corpuscles. Um, and we can start to see the, the parts of the renal corpuscle, glomerulus and um, glomerular capsule or Bowman's capsule. And that's about it at this magnification. Let's move on to the next one. This is 450 times magnification. And here's that renal corpuscle nicely magnified so that we can make out the two major parts. Inside would be the glomerulus or glomerular capillaries. And then the space here and the covering around it, that is the uh, Bowman's capsule or glomerular capsule. And then here we see renal tubule, renal tubule, renal tubule, renal tubule, they're all over the place, renal tubule. And um, just in case you want to learn a little bit deeper, by the way, um, can you see how the tubule up here, over here, and up here, they have kind of a smooth inside to them? Those are distal convoluted tubules, whereas the ones down here, and it's interesting to me that the distal ones on this image, the distal ones are up here. Um, but down here, there we see proximal convoluted tubule, where it's more fuzzy inside of the tubule. They're proximal convoluted tubules, but here's one of those distal convoluted tubules. Um, the other thing that we see here, and that I want my students to know, 
Can you see the reddishness here? Those are red blood cells. And they are inside of capillaries. And those capillaries are wrapping around the tubules. So we call them paratubular capillaries. So this would be paratubular capillary, paratubular capillary. Um, and I thought there was, there's one up here too, paratubular capillary. And let's move on to the next image. Um, this is also, by the way, only because I remember doing it, this is also in the um, um, the cortex of the kidney and just, just an area in between the renal corpuscles. So what we see here, renal tubule, renal tubule, renal tubule, renal tubule, and paratubular capillary, paratubular capillary, kind of a squished paratubular capillary. And that's what we see in this view. Moving on to the next image, we're back down to low magnification and we are no longer in the cortex. We're now in the medullary region or the medulla of the kidney. And I say that because there are no renal corpuscles in view, even at this low magnification, no renal corpuscles. All we see are tons of the tubules. Renal medulla at um, 100 times magnification. And again, we see lots of tubules lots of tubules. Here appears to be a larger blood vessel, by the way. Okay, 450 times magnification of the, of the medullary region of the kidney. So we're down in one of the pyramids. And again, we've got renal tubule, renal tubule. Um, and these are actually, this part of the tubule, this is down in the, um, the nephron loop or loop of Henle. And nicely here, one of them, it looks like it's coming in here and then making a U-turn, which is what happens at the bottom of the nephron loop. So this might be the bottom of a nephron loop. And I thought that's kind of neat. Um, but apart from that, we again see renal tubule, renal tubule. I guess the other thing to point out is notice that um, some of these tubules are rather large, rather thick in their walls. The epithelial cells that make up the wall are really thick. And then other areas where the um, cells making up the wall of the tubule is um, squamous, they're really thin. And that's because um, as the nephron loop comes down, we tend to have that part of the loop having a really thin wall. It's called the, um, the thin descending limb. And then the thicker parts are usually part of the ascending limb because they tend to be thicker. Um, and in your in the physiology part of your class, you should learn why. Um, there's also blood vessels here, but by the way, the blood vessels that you see here are part of what we call the vasa recta. Um, those are blood vessels that come down and go back up in the medulla in the same manner that the tubules do um, in terms of the nephron loop. So again, this is medulla, 450 times magnification, and I think I've described all the parts pretty well. Okay, moving on. This is a different kidney. This um, doesn't come from a human. This comes from a mouse. And again, we can see the outside part of the kidney. So this might be renal capsule. And um, just inside would be cortex. And I can tell for sure it's cortex because I see um, a renal corpuscle here and a renal corpuscle here and a renal corpuscle here, um, another one down here, and so on. If we go far to the right, then we see an area where there's no renal corpuscles. So this is medullary region. I guess the nice thing about the mouse kidney is because they're just smaller overall. Within the same view at um, 40 times magnification, you can see renal medulla in terms of region and renal cortex in terms of region. This is a also mouse kidney and also 40 times magnification, but I thought it was kind of neat that it appears that we're seeing a pyramid. So this looks like the pyramid coming down to a point here. And again, this would be medullary region. And if I look way up top, I can't for sure see any corpuscles. So everything in view may be renal um, medulla. Um, I put this picture back up again just to what we're looking at next is the ureter, the tube coming from the kidney that carries the urine to the bladder. So this is 
a cross section of a ureter at 40 times magnification. And apart from knowing that this organ, um, that the organ the section comes from is a ureter, you should know the layers of the ureter. The innermost layer is called the mucosal layer or the mucosa. And then just underneath the mucosa is the submucosa. And then out here we have muscularis wrapping all the way around. And outside of the muscularis, at least in most of the run of the ureter, we have adventitia, which is connective tissue, and it's a combination of adipose tissue and areolar tissue. So adventitia. And that's the ureter, and I think that's it for urinary histology. Um, let's do a quiz. Let me go all the way back to the beginning. And here are the questions that I might ask in a lab exam, if this is what you saw under the microscope in that lab exam. Name the organ that this section comes from. And by the way, for my questions like this, um, if you can't come up with it right away, pause the video and see if you can remember and then I'll answer the question. Um, this, the organ that this section comes from is, of course, kidney. All right, next question. Um, what would this be if I put the pointer out here? And the answer to that is renal capsule. Renal capsule. All right, next question. What region of the kidney is in view here? And the answer to that is the cortex. And you should know that this is cortex, and it must be cortex, because we see so many um, of these structures. And we'll make that the next question. What are these structures? Or if I put the microscope pointer in one of these, name the structure at the pointer. And the answer to that is renal corpuscle. Renal corpuscle. Um, if the pointer is right on that dark part in the middle, by the way, in, at this magnification, even you could say glomerulus for me. Um, but at this magnification, I'm not looking to, for you to differentiate glomerulus from um, Bauman's capsule or glomerular capsule because I think it's too hard to differentiate at this magnification. Okay, let's move on to 450 times magnification, the other magnification that at least I'm likely to use. What's this structure here? And the answer to that is this is a um, renal tubule. And for those of you digging deeper, this is actually also, um, you could put distal convoluted tubule. It's a distal convoluted tubule. How about um, right where the microscope pointer lands? What structure would that be? And the answer to that is the Bauman's capsule or glomerular capsule. How about name this structure? And that is glomerulus or glomerular capillaries. All right. How about this structure? That little reddish structure there. And the answer to that is paratubular capillary. Hard to get the pointer on, but you could do it. Let's move on. Um, how about name this structure? And again, that is renal tubule. Renal tubule. And by the way, where the microscope pointer is too, that would also be renal tubule. Um, and again, for those of you digging deeper, this would be distal convoluted, I'm sorry, this would be proximal convoluted tubule because of the fuzzy um, edges of the cells. They have uh, microvilli on them. That's why they look fuzzy. And the first one that I pointed at, that would be distal convoluted tubule because of the smooth edges here. They don't have the microvilli. And then again, what's this structure right at the end of that pointer? That would be paratubular capillary. Okay. Questions for this one. Um, Name the organ that the section comes from. And again, that would be kidney. That one should have been real easy for you at this point. 
and um, what region of the organ are we inside of? And the answer to that is we're in the medullary region or medulla. Moving on to 450 times magnification. Um, what region of the kidney are we looking at? And again, that is the medullary region because we don't see any um, renal corpuscles. And if I put the pointer, I guess right here, what structure is this? And again, it's getting redundant at this point, I hope for you, because you know it so well, but this is renal tubule, renal tubule. And um, if you want to take it further, you could say that this is um, a nephron loop. or loop of Henle is the other possible term. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much it here. I guess you could put, we could talk about the vessels here as being part of the vasa recta, vasa recta vessels. Um, here's that mouse kidney again. Oops, I just gave up an answer. <laughs> so um, name the organ that the section comes from. And again, yes, that's kidney. How about um, if I put the pointer out here? That would be renal capsule. Name the structure. The answer is renal corpuscle. Um, name the region. The answer is renal cortex. And then name this region. And the answer to that is medulla or renal medulla or medullary region. Moving on here, what region of the kidney are we looking at here? And again, that's medullary region or medulla. Last one, last image. Name the organ that this section comes from. And the answer to that is this is the ureter. Next question, name the layer at the pointer. And the answer to that out here would be adventitia. How about name the layer at the pointer here? And the answer to that is the submucosa. And lastly, well, not lastly, sorry. Um, what about the what's the microscope pointer pointing at? What layer would that be? And the answer to that is the mucosa. And one more to name here. Name this layer. And that is the muscularis layer. So I'll go through all three of them, just starting from the inside. Mucosa submucosa, muscularis, adventitia. And that's it. That's your quiz. Um, I hope this helped you with urinary histology. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And thank you once again for watching.